this is Film Masters. And on this episode, I'm going to do my interpretation of Soundwave from Transformers. It's going to sound like this. I am Soundwave. I hate the Autobots. Okay, so we're in Adobe's audition. The first thing I'm going to do is going to come up to Waveform. And I'm going to call this Soundwave. So Soundwave. I'm going to leave the sample rate at 44,100 hertz or 44,100. 100 hertz and the channel at stereo and the bit rate i'm going to leave at 32 floating so everything is going to be left the same except for the file name i'm going to select okay and here we are in the main screen and what we're going to be doing is doing a voiceover for soundwave so this is my interpretation of soundwave i'm going to be using my voice obviously and we're going to be making two changes in adobe audition in the effects panel so we'll be doing that now, first of all, when we start to do sound wave, one thing I want you to practice is this. Whenever you do your sound wave voice, try and sound like a robot. Try and practice it and then uh, have a go at it and see what it sounds like. Obviously, my voice may be a little bit deeper than yours or maybe a little bit shallower than yours. But what we're going to do is we're going to jump straight into it and do that voice recording. Now, one of the new things that I'm actually using as well is I'm using the Rode Microphone Procaster. Now, it's a broadcast quality dynamic microphone, and it is quite a nice microphone. And I've got that set up on my PSA-1 Studio Mic Mount, and that's set up to my desk. So that way I can do tutorials and do my sound production, like you've probably been seeing some of the sound waves that I've been supplying to you all at the moment. For example, uh, we've got our Dinosaur one. Uh, I've also got the flash one which i've done and i'll do a tutorial uh coming up in the next couple of weeks on how i actually do my sound effects so that you guys can start making your own custom ones so let's get straight into the tutorial so i'm going to come down here and select record and then i'm going to do my sound wave impersonation i am sound wave i hate the autobots Okay, once I've done that, I'm just going to stop the recording by hitting the record button, or you can obviously hit the space bar on your keyboard, and now we can start getting into the effects. Before we do though, let's listen in and hear what we've recorded. I am Soundwave. I hate the Autobots. Excellent, sounds pretty cheesy, but we're going to be making some changes. So first of all, let's go up to effects and I'm going to go down to time and pitch and stretch and pitch. So this is the very first one. I'm going to leave everything else the same. However, I'm going to come down to pitch shift and change it to negative five. Now, if your voice is not as low as mine, one thing I would suggest you can play around with this pitch shift here and just make it negative so that way it gives it a more of a deeper voice once we're happy with that i'm just going to make sure we've got toggle loop on and i'm going to hit play and we're going to listen in and hear what that sounds like i am sound wave i hate the autobots i am now, one thing you've noticed is because I've got that toggle on, it will just keep on cycling through the loop, which is great. So therefore, if you're making tweaks, you can have it playing and be in real time making those adjustments. If you're happy with it, which I am, I'm going to select OK, and it will apply the stretch and pitch effect to our sound wave. Okay, so let's get into it now. The next one we're going to do is we're going to go up to effects, and we're going to go to modulation and flanger so let's select the flanger and we're going to be making some adjustments first of all let's go to presets and let's drop this down now obviously the presets has a group of already preset sound effects i guess you can say in which you can start building on for example you can select robot and cheat in some ways but it's not a very good sound wave which is what we're after so we're going to be making some adjustments so first of all i want to select one that is very similar i'm going to select tonal sadness and as you can see i've already got the loop on let's play that and listen in to what that sounds like i am sound wave i hate the autobots Excellent. So we're going to be making some adjustments to that now. So first of all, we're going to go to the initial delay time. I'm going to change this to 10. And then we're going to go to final delay time. I'm going to select, I'm not going to select, but I'm going to key in 10 milliseconds. 
on stereo phasing, I'm going to change that to 100 and I'm going to leave the feedback at 80%. Now down the modulation rate, I'm going to change that down to 20 or thereabouts. So you just key it in 20. And last but not least, we're going to hit inverted and that's going to invert our sound wave. And I'm going to leave the mix at 65%. And what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go down and I'm going to uh, press play and we're going to listen in to what that sounds like. I am Soundwave. I hate the Aurobots. Now, one thing you'll probably notice is that it sounds very cartoonistic. Now, one thing we can do, we can make some adjustments up to the initial delay time and the final delay time in order to change our sound effect a little bit. So let's play around with that. So I'm just going to press play and then we're going to tune it till I'm happy with our sound effect. I am Soundwave. I hate the Aurobots. I and sound wave. I hate the Aurobots. I am sound wave. I hate the Aurobots. I am sound wave. I hate the Aurobots. I am sound wave. I hate the Aurobots. Excellent. So I've made some finer adjustments. And as you could hear, just by playing around with the final delay time with my voice, and I've dropped the stereo phasing down to 0%. Now, just playing around with these three, for example, can change your voice and make it sound more modulated, very much like sound waves. So once you're happy with that, which I am, I'm going to select apply. And just before I do, again, I can't express enough. Using the toggle loop uh, button is an actual good way, especially when you're playing it and fine tuning it to allowing you to listen into what you're actually tuning in. So again, once you're happy with that, select apply. And we can make some adjustments. I can come in here and select the whole sound wave. I can beef up the sound up here and just push the sound up to say uh, three decibels or thereabouts. I just did 2.1, um, whatever your sound wave you want to make it sound like. Obviously you can bump it up. I'm also going to trim the sound file at the beginning and at the end. So therefore we've got the exact voice and nothing else in there. Once you're happy with it, I'm just going to press play and then we'll save it. I am sound wave. I hate the robots. Excellent. I'm happy with that. All we need to do now with this sound wave is go file, save as. Uh, we're going to save a location. So I've got a location already saved here. Um, obviously press browse or select browse to find a different location if you want to save it on your hard drive. I'm going to leave the file name as sound wave and everything else I'm going to leave. We can change the format here from wave down to MP3. I'm going to change it to MP3 because I like the compression for that, especially for YouTube. Um, obviously wave is the better option, especially if you're working in sound files. However, an MP3 is perfect for what we're using it for. And once you're happy, select OK. And your file is done. Nice and simple. And that is how we do Soundwave or my variation of Soundwave's voice from Transformers. So Autobots, roll out.